uh, Paul Stetsowitz here with Weeks Aircraft, and uh, we're going to try to start the whirl away again after having some issues with it in the past. One of the problems we were having with this airplane when we first went to start it was we could not get the wobble pump to build up enough pressure. The wobble pump is actually you know, right here. It's a little hand pump. And what this does is actually draws fuel from the tank up to the carburetor to help uh, fuel get to the carburetor for starting the engine. We were having a lot of issues with that, and so then we pressurized the tank to force fuel up to the wobble pump. When we did get some pressure, but it was kind of low. And then we went to start the airplane. It would start but it wouldn't maintain fuel pressure, and then it would run for a little bit, and then it would start dying, and I was able to continue to wobble it and keep the pressure up, but eventually the wobble pump would just give up, and it would quit. We looked into a few things, and we talked to some people down in Australia who actually have a, a flying whirlaway, and a couple things we found out is that the wobble pump is a bit weak. It has a weak system, and a lot of people said that if you run a tank dry on the on the whirlaway, it's hard to get it back going again. So because of that, uh, someone recommended putting a boost pump in. So that's what we did. That's what this unit is right here. It's an electronic boost pump, electric motor, basically with a fuel pump attached to it. We've taken the wobble pump out of the system because basically this takes place of that uh, piece right there. So we did all that install and it works very well. But once we put that in there, we still couldn't build up pressure in the system. And we couldn't figure out why that was. It's very strange. So then I talked to a gentleman named Andy Bishop down at the Tomorrow Aviation Museum. They have a flying whirlaway, and I was sending emails back and forth with them. And one of the things he said is, is your check valve working? And I emailed back to him. I said, what check valve? <laughs> There's no check valve in the system. So from that, we decided that they needed to have a check valve because what's happening is the, the boost pump's not able to produce any vacuum. And so the, it's just circulating around through the system, so it's not building up any pressure. And so what was strange about this was is there wasn't a check valve in the airplane prior to us uh, when we got the aircraft. We didn't take a check valve out, so we thought maybe it had something to do with the carburetor. We had the carburetor overhauled and maybe it was set up differently when it was in Australia. Maybe there was an internal check valve of some type. We weren't sure, but we decided let's try a check valve. So I found one, we installed it, which is this blue piece right in here. It's in, in between the engine driven pump and the carburetor. And once that was installed and we put the boost pump on, it works just fine. Now the next step, of course, is to find out whether it's going to start and continue to run, and that's what we're going to do next, uh, doing a test run right now. It's going to be an extremely oily start. <laughs> It's okay. extra special the world way. It's gonna blow away off both ways. <laughs> just to make sure there isn't any oil in the cylinders, even though we pulled through okay. But And what's weird is the this max switch was off, but it actually sounded like it was trying to, trying to run. 
which is not. It's kind of strange. Yeah. 
been driven off. <coughs> There's a little bit of a vibration in it. I don't know. I didn't. I don't want to run it up too much because I don't have any brakes. Yeah. Max checked out fine. It switched and off. It was shutting it off. It started beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> it started. It but uh, yeah, it's strange that the engine driven pump. <laughs> I mean, that thing should be picking up and just going to town. You know? Cylinder head temp. Good oil pressure. Man, was there a lot of smoke. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even see inside the airplane. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's like a <laughs> That's a lot of oil, man. It's all blown up on the headrest and the turnover structure. All right, well, I think it went good. <laughs> it started it started well. It was extremely messy start, as you can see. Lots of oil, because it's been sitting for a while. Um, it is running uh, much better than it was before, but the mystery now is we the engine-driven pump will not pick up. It was running on the boost pump only, and when I would shut that off, it would want to quit. So that's kind of a strange thing, because the, the engine-driven pump is a piece we sent out and had overhauled. Um, so we need to check into that, but uh, we're getting there and uh, slowly but surely hopefully we'll get the whirlway back in the air.